Hello, my name is Jose Fuentes. How are you? I'm a seer, I'm a psychic. How you doing? I just wanted to uh, catch on some of the things that uh, um, we said that materialized already in the past few months. I haven't, uh, haven't done a, um, well, I haven't made a video in English for a long time. I just wanted to uh, thank all the uh, all the English speakers, if they're still here, they still see it. If the, for the ones that are coming, if you like what we what we have to say on the channel when it comes to sports predictions, you can always always uh, um, snap the uh, like button and also subscribe. I want to talk to you briefly about what's going on, what we said that happened. It's a lot of things that I said that happened. Inter was champion of the uh, um, of the Italian. Um, of the Calcio, we have a uh, Manchester City. I said that was it was going to be between Manchester City and Liverpool. Manchester City took the uh, the championship last uh, last uh, season with uh, on the Premier. We said Leverkusen. Leverkusen won the Premier uh, the uh, Bundesliga, and uh, a lot of things that materialized. Obviously, probably one of the biggest predictions was the uh, the Copa America, where uh, Argentina um, basically basically blasted one more time, you know, and and they just um, they just uh, uh, um, kick the heck out of, out of all, all the teams there, whether they uh, they won in 90 minutes or uh, with the uh, Equatorian team where uh, Emiliano Martinez was one more time, one more time the hero of that uh, national team. So at the end of the day, what I said happened. It was a good prediction. Um, it was a prediction that came true, and now we have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, different things that uh, we can discuss and talk. So we're gonna start really, really quickly with with what uh, um, we what we um, what we what I expect, um, what I'm expecting to happen when it comes to a uh, um, few things, uh, pr primarily on the. Uh, on the European League. So let's start with Spain. Um, I don't know if you uh, remember when we talked last time, I think I explained, I explained to you the two different situations or scenarios where sometimes, you know, I decide to give uh, strength to a team or power to a team that um, I believe they could become champions. That's what I did with Argentina on the Copa America. It was gonna be very hard for them to repeat because uh, Colombians were strong, Equatorians were strong, Uruguay Uruguayans were strong. And um, it happened. Sometimes it happened. You know, if I if I watch the games, if I if I make sure that uh, I'm um, I'm somehow conspicuous when it comes to um, to those things, there is a uh, um, there is a smitten um, situation with the uh, um, with uh, the Argentine team where I'm I'm basically I'm basically uh, very fond of them and I know them very well. You know, since uh, Qatar 2022. So I think that uh, it's easy for me to really uh, uh, clarify, filter, and distinguish what I see on that team. So um, I'm gonna just tell you what um, that's the uh, strength and power that I'm talking about. That's the desire that I want for them, for the team, for whatever team I pick to win. And then the real, the actual prophecy, the actual, the actual prediction. So let's start with uh, with the Premier League. I'm I'm I'm, I'm clearly seeing that Arsenal, uh, Liverpool, or Aston are gonna probably take take the um, uh, the championship I'm not clear yet which one of the three but I, I I believe that Manchester Manchester City is gonna probably be short of uh, points at the end of the day I think Arsenal have a, has a tremendous team they have been able able to um, um, uh, uh, with help very good with their trainer with the training coach you know their team uh, their backup uh, their backup team you know and the whole administration I think is a phenomenal phenomenal um, um, uh, ownership, you know, whoever owns the team, I think they've done a heck of a job. I don't see Chelsea still very, 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 very uh, um, uh, sure of uh, of getting to the um, um, to the top of the uh, league. I don't see that team still. I'm trying to say I'm trying to help them, but I don't see that team is one of my favorite teams. It's unfortunately, it's not gonna be there. So I'm gonna give Arsenal probably the first. Um, uh, the first choice. I'm gonna give Liverpool the second, and then I think Aston is gonna have a good shot. So we'll see what happens. But those are my three picks. We're gonna obviously, obviously try to uh, clarify everything before, you know. And I'm gonna make another video to tell you my final prediction. But um, count on those three teams to be right at the top and, and, and really making some noise. 
So now when it comes to the Liga Brava, the Liga Brava, I'm seeing that Atlet Atletico de Madrid is going to be probably the team to beat. Um, and uh, I think that uh, they're going to need a lot of strength and power. I think that if I could get to uh, give them that, that extra, extra, um, those extra vibes, it's very likely that Atletico de Madrid win the, you know, win the, uh, the tournament. They have uh, three guys that I really like a lot. One is uh, Julian Alvarez, Dipol, and Correa. Those three, those three players, and I think Molina. That's another. That's another kid that plays. Um, they're all Argent, you know. They're from Argentina. I know them very well. I want to have a team to win the Champions and also the league, the uh, uh, Spanish league. So I want to concentrate on that team a lot. I'm gonna follow that team a lot. Don't ask me about any other team. You know, my my concentration is gonna be on that team. So don't don't take this as a prediction. Take this as a uh, um, illusion. Take this as a. Uh, Desire. Remember, this is a channel that's an abstract channel. A lot of the things that you, if you hit the uh, translate translating buttons, you know that a lot of the things that uh, I um, uh, I mentalize with, you know, uh, come true. Yeah, whether it's uh, whether it's healing someone that's suffering from a disease, whether it's uh, boosting a, 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 a um, soccer team, or or whatever the case may be. All the predictions that came through too, you know, um, where the Kansas City Chiefs that won the Super Bowl, I said that was gonna happen and it did happen. The uh, Boston Celtics, I said that we're gonna win the NBA and that's another thing that happened. So there's many things that I said that happened and there's few things that sometimes they can, like the champions. I knew that Manchester City was gonna be, was gonna have the upper hand and blew it. So, you know, there's that 1% uh, chance that some of the things that I that I wish and 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 predict won't materialize but for the most part you know we have a uh, we have a pretty good success rate so I'm 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 expecting to continue that uh nonetheless you have to always always be be a uh, open minded when it comes to have that one percent factor you know which is there and it's gonna be there all the time so we'll see what happens I'm gonna go with those teams um, we have the uh, Ballon d'Or. I'm seeing very, very strong Lautaro Martinez. I think he's the one that deserves it. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make everything possible for him to win it. We'll see what happens. I think all things considered, he's the one that's supposed to, that should be taking it. We're gonna wait. We're gonna try to uh, gauge, you know, the whole situation. It's gonna be between him and Vinicius. Um, I see that uh, Vinicius has a great chance, probably greater than Lautaro. If you tell me right now, you put a knife on my neck and tell me. Who the heck is gonna take it? I would say Vinicius, but Lautaro Martinez has Jose Fuentes on his side, and when Jose Fuentes is in someone's side, you know, in someone's in someone's corner, it's a huge, huge boost that that person get. So we're gonna take. Uh, we're gonna hope that Lautaro Martinez takes it, and we'll see what happens. I said it too. One of the other predictions I did uh, was that uh, um, at the beginning of the year, even before. I'm sorry, after Qatar. I said that uh, Argentina was gonna be the top, the top uh, team in uh, um, in the uh, FIFA ranking. Well, that was a prediction that was fulfilled because those guys are now at the top of their game. Is the number one, the number one uh, national team in the FIFA ranking. You know, I think that uh, uh, France and and and, and uh, Belgium and England, they're they're far from them. So I said that was gonna happen, and exactly what I said just happened. They have they have many points above every other every other uh, national team, and they're gonna continue that way. I'm gonna I'm gonna close just with uh, one more thing. I just wanna say um, we have two more things actually. We have a, uh, um, a Libertadores, which is another another pre hot tour tournament that everybody follows, so most people follow. So uh, I'm seeing the same thing. You know, we we I was I was hoping that River would take the uh, uh, River Play would take the uh, um, the tournament, but they start play. The problem with the Argentinian teams, you know, is they play too much. They play around too much. They fool around too much with their head coach, uh, coaches. They uh, um, they swap them. They change them. They fire them. You know, and I I, I can't I can't help a team like that. So uh, they decide to bring this guy Gal uh, Gal uh, Galardo, and I don't know if uh, I don't know I don't know what's gonna be the outcome of that team. I really don't see him. Don't see him uh, becoming becoming champions of that tournament. I think they're gonna have a, a, a tough time, you know, at the end, I mean, it's, it, it, I could be wrong, that's what I see. I think that uh, um, that, that term is gonna be decide, um, uh, this, uh, this decisive, you know, basically on the context of uh, having Botafogo and Flamengo at their best. 
one of those two uh, those two teams are gonna probably take take the uh, tournament. I was uh, I saw Palmeiras too. Palmeiras too. Palmeiras was just kicked out. So we got Flamengo and Botafogo. Uh, Flamengo just lost with Peñarol, you know. So we'll see what happens. I really, I truly think, I truly wish that I, I, uh, um, I am wrong and uh, um, and uh, River Plate, River Plate takes uh, um, uh, takes the uh, the tournament. I'm not helping anyone. I'm just telling you what I see. This is this is just plain, plain raw visions from Jose. Is gonna be Flamengo or is gonna be Botafogo? One of the two teams, you know, are gonna take the tournament. Closing out my arguments or my statements um, with uh, Calapinto. Calapinto is the uh, um, is the driver from uh, Formula uh, for Formula One or number one Formula, whatever the whatever you call it, whatever you call the car racing uh, um, the car racing uh, um, um, company or institution that uh, uh, it's just uh, it's just above NASCAR. I think that's a heck of a pilot. I think he's gonna, driver, he's gonna win a lot of, a lot of, a lot of races. I think the guy, it's, 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 gonna, it's, a, it's gonna be, he's gonna be doing phenomenal. Follow that kid if you like, if you like a racing, it's gonna be probably one of the top drivers that uh, ever existed. It's a kid that you guys definitely have to pay attention. You know, it's worth paying attention to that kid if you're into car racing. I think he's phenomenal. He's a great driver. I think he's gonna be improving a lot. He's a young kid, and I honestly think he's gonna be the uh, the next uh, uh, the next Fagio uh, or Fagio. And also, uh, I don't remember what was the name of the Argentine or the Argentine uh, driver that uh, won basically everything. But I know it's gonna be pretty. He's gonna definitely definitely pass Schumacher and all and a lot other a lot other drivers that were very popular back in the day. So this kid, someone that you have to watch that you have to follow because he's gonna be shaking the world with what he's gonna be accomplished. So follow, follow Calapinto, follow the uh, Ballon d'Or because I think Lautaro is coming strong. I'm gonna also say that that uh, on the Bundesliga, um, I, uh, um, I'm seeing Bayer, Bayer very, Bayer Munich again, um, very, very good. And Dortmund, um, one of those two teams will win the the top top award when it comes to who's taking the league. One of those two team, one of those two teams, um, Bayern Munich of or, or uh, Dortmund are gonna be the champions. Okay, at the end of the story, when it comes to that league that it's playing already as we speak. I think it's a very good, very, very good league. And I think that Leverkusen is gonna have a lot of problems to repeat what they did last time. So we'll see what happens. Inter, was, Inter is gonna take the Italian, the Italian, uh, the Calcio again. I see that there's a lot of teams that are gonna be struggling and they're gonna probably probably scratching their way to the top, you know, with with a lot of problems, but they're gonna be, they're gonna be contending, you know, that um, the uh, um, the top spot to win the championship. I'm talking about Napoli. I'm talking about Juventus. But at the end of the day, Lautaro Martinez is gonna be he's gonna be ripping it. He's gonna be crushing it. And again, Inter is gonna be the team to to be watched one more time. Inter is gonna win that tournament. I think that I think that Liverpool or Arsenal, Aston Villa is gonna probably be one of those teams, the one that's gonna take the Premier League. I'm, 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 I'm basically, I'm basically uh, deaf about hearing anything else other than Atletico de Madrid for the, the Spanish league and for the champions. So one, that team to win everything, we'll see what happens. Once they're out of the champions, then we could probably give you a prediction in terms of who I want them or who I see that's gonna win. I don't wanna say that nothing about the champions and nothing about the Spanish league. I'm concentrating right now on the Atletico de Madrid because of Molina, Nahuel Molina, because of Correa, because of the Paul, and because of my boy, my boy, Julian Alvarez. And I really like Simeone too. So I want that team to win everything this year. We'll see if that's possible. Watch, watch what's gonna happen also with, with um, Argentina coming at the end of the year as, a, as the number one team, okay? as the number one national team in the FIFA ranking and possibly repeat repeat the another the fourth the fourth world championship in US 2026 with Messi playing a little bit. I see I see I see things that 
start getting start looking better for Lionel Messi. We'll see what happens. We'll wait and we'll see what happens. All depends a lot in how he he structure his um his uh um playing career right now. And, and, and he takes care of himself. He he does everything right. He has a good chance. If even playing playing a forty years old, forty one years old, whatever, I think he's gonna be thirty nine. Not even okay. If I said. Uh, Lionel Scaloni puts him uh, or, or puts uh, puts puts Lionel Messi maybe 10 15 minutes okay it's gonna be just enough for the Argentina the Argentine team to really blast it one more time you know and boss the performance in a way where uh once they once they boost it they could probably probably have that extra motivation to really go and play another final I see that I don't see my that one that wouldn't be my number my my top pick or my number one pick but it's gonna be a lot of strength that Jose Fuentes is gonna give a game to that team I'm seeing definitely Spain or England going going strong to take that that uh World Cup coming up in um here in the United States I don't see Argentina winning anything but I'm thinking that if Lionel Messi is there if I'm there and the team keeps on Surprising everybody the way they're playing. It's a huge possibility that they could win the fourth the fourth FIFA World Cup one more time with Leo Messi there. We're gonna take it one day at a time. That's not a prediction, that's a desire. That's a wish with a lot of strength and a lot of a lot of purpose. You know, I ask with purpose. My my prediction is that England or Spain or Holland, Netherlands is gonna be they're gonna be contending for that. Um the top contenders for that. But be careful with the gauchos because at any time they can snap and boost their their performance and motivation. They have the team, they have the coach, and they have Jose. We're gonna take it, we're gonna leave it there, and I hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna be coming back.